Tonight on the CBS Evening News, Nora O'Donnell sits down with General Mark Milley, who is stepping down as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And for the first time, General Milley is responding to shocking comments made by former President Donald Trump. Nora joins us now here to tell us more about it. So what can you share with us? Well, this is pretty extraordinary. You know, last Friday night, the former president, Donald Trump, who is the leading Republican candidate for president, posted on his social media network, Truth Social, that General Mark Milley, who is America's top general, should be put to death for some of the calls and actions he made while he was chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Pretty shocking, right? I mean, a number of critics came out and said, the former president inciting violence, where is the outrage? Why isn't this a bigger deal? Well, we had the opportunity to sit down with Mark Milley, General Mark Milley, at the Pentagon for an upcoming 60 Minutes. And I asked him and read to him exactly what Trump posted, which was this, that Milley's dealings with China were, quote, so egregious that in times gone by, the punishment would have been death. And General Milley said, yep, yeah, that's what he said. I asked him if he was, and then he went on to talk about his own service. He went on to say essentially um, that this is insulting the two, more than two million people that serve in the military. He talked about his own family service. General Mark Milley's parents served in World War II, both of them, his mom and his dad. I asked him if he was worried about his safety. And you'll hear the general's response to that tonight. But it's pretty extraordinary moment. I use that word because there have been, of course, um, disagreements between Trump and Mark Milley that have been public. Mm -hmm. But there was also an article published last week in The Atlantic for the full context in which a lot of these disagreements between Trump and General Milley were laid bare, which is what prompted Trump to do this. Trump in the past has you know, issued a lot, said a lot of negative things about Mark Milley. Um, but this is the first time he talked about death and suggesting that a general, America's top military general, be executed. And so that's what makes this very different. I know you don't want to get too detailed about the response here, but do you think people will be surprised? Will they be taken aback by the general's reaction tonight? I think they will be taken aback because what General Milley has tried to do is try to make sure that the military is not politicized. And yet he takes responsibility for what happened on June 1st, 2020. Remember the George Floyd protests all across America, including in the nation's capital. And then we saw Mark Milley, Mark Milley in his fatigues march out to Lafayette Square. He says he was caught off guard. He was roundly criticized for that. He called it a mistake and he apologized. He owned it. He owned it. Mm -hmm. And he has said, we have got to, the military has got to stay out of politics. And he feels that there are politicians that are trying to politicize the military. And the members who serve in the military are loyal to the Constitution, not to a king, a queen, or a person. Mm -hmm. They're loyal to the Constitution. And that's really what we're seeing here, mm -hmm. is this clash of very important ideals. And that's part of what this conversation with General Milley is about. That's why these comments by Donald Trump are important, newsworthy, and the general's response in our interview with him is also quite newsworthy. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you, Nora. I appreciate your taking time out for us today. Thanks nice so much. to see you both in yeah. person. <laughs> Good to see you too. You Good to see you. Thanks.